Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 16th of November 2022 and I've got three things to talk about today. First of all, a milestone, one of those milestones. Apparently the world's population has now topped the 8 billion mark. So it's been on the cards for quite a while but it seems that in the last few days that has been achieved. Uh, that kind of says two things to me really. First of all, the fact that we've got to such a big milestone in the world's population doesn't really tally up with the fact that we've had a massive, massive lurgy-demic which has supposedly killed untold numbers of people. So it kind of lends some credence that the whole thing was a load of old rubbish anyway, as we all know any anyhow. But also what it says to me is if there is a depop agenda, it's not going very well for them, is it? Because, uh, again, would we have got to this milestone... So just a couple of quick thoughts there on that. Won't go into all of that uh, too much more. Any comments you might have, please leave it in the comment section below there. Moving on to the next thing I want to talk about. Now, you might have seen some scaremongering going on here and there uh, in you know, maybe Telegram groups and that sort of thing, that there is a new variant of the Lurgy, something called Pi, and don't worry, I think what it stems from is a couple of speculative pieces in the mainstream media, I think the Independent and the Telegraph, but probably some of the other ones as well, where they were talking about how uh, there might be another variant along, and if there is, it's going to be called Pi, that's what they're going to call it, as in the geometry thing and the uh, Greek letter, I suppose. So, and I think the reason why they were talking about it, well, probably two reasons. First of all, they want to keep the, the nonsense on the, uh, the back burner a little bit, of course, uh, them being the Muppets they are. Um, but also, it's... Well, funnily enough, probably the day that it was released was the 314th day of the year. So I think that explains it because, of course, that's the number of pi, isn't it? Well, 3.14, but what's a decimal place among friends, eh? So if you see this story, I think it just relates to these speculative pieces um, from the mainstream media brought out because of that reason the 314th day and also trying to somehow keep their very much dying or dead uh, lurgy agenda somehow on life support so if you see any reports that oh there's another variant coming uh, you know they, I wouldn't be too worried about it so the third thing I want to talk about, I said in a video a few days ago that absolutely nothing is off the table as far as I'm concerned now. I just do not believe the government and the powers that shouldn't be in the mainstream media and the mainstream narrative at all. And I'm quite happy now to consider alternative uh, versions of what may have gone on in the past and I saw a very interesting podcast or listened to a very interesting podcast where uh, James Denningpole was interviewing a guy called Bart um, oh, what's his surname? Sibrell, Bart Sibrell, that's it and if you go to the latter's website which is sibrell.com I'll put it up here below and also uh, I'll put a link in the description box for his site as well. And if you go to his site, you'll see a film 
it's right there on the home page it's free to watch you don't have to sign up or anything you just click on it and watch and it's called a funny thing happened on the way to the moon so you can probably guess which topic this relates to and like i say nothing's off the table and i'm even questioning the narrative on that so uh, and i watched this film it's only about three quarters of an hour long but they've got some pretty compelling things on there shall we say uh the most notable one is he talks about shadows you'll have to watch the film to find out or get more of an understanding on that but basically any light coming from the sun will produce shadows that run parallel to each other you know if you've got two things sort of near each other um in the sunlight they'll sort of you know so if you're standing next to your wife or your husband or whatever uh both your shadows will go the same way won't they but apparently on some of the footage that they were talking about on a certain fairly nearby heavenly body uh they don't run parallel well not as far as the uh uh, the film's concerned or the footage that uh, was taken at the time was concerned so very bit of compelling bit of evidence there and what they come out with is very compelling viewing anyway and I've got no idea really how uh, how accurate this guy's reporting is but he seems to have spent a good portion of his life looking into this topic so and he seems like quite a genuine bloke. He is a filmmaker, so he knows about lighting and that kind of thing. So I'm not going to go into it too much more. I'm going to let you go to that sibrel.com site. And like I say, there's a, about a three quarter of an hour long film called A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon. There's also a short one if you haven't got time to watch that. It's only about three minutes long another uh quick video on his home page there which kind of talks about the shadow thing um as well so uh i'll let you go and check those out anyway and with those thoughts uh some pretty controversial thoughts as ever there i'll leave it and i'll be back tomorrow tim from fair play now thanks for watching